Hello, one. So we have um, another question about the writing equation of circle. So what we are given is um, the center, and then we are given a the circle pass through a point four comma a one. So the question is asking the equation of a circle. So just a reminder, whenever we know the center, let's say the center is like h comma k, we use h and k in general. So let's say this is our center, and then. If I call the radius as R, okay, and uh, we do have an equation that is the difference between the X and the X coordinates of the center, which is X minus H. So that's the difference of two X coordinates, the center and a point on the circle, and to the second power, because this is going to give us the, the one leg of a right triangle if you make it. And the same idea, the difference between the y values will be y minus k. And I use square because when you use a Pythag, you use square the legs. And this is equal to hypotenuse. Hypotenuse will be our radius. If you are not visually seeing this, it is uh, okay. So you can just make it a drawing and kind of look at it. But that is not what we're going to do in this case. So we want to find the equation. It looks like this. But in order for us to get this, we need a center point as well as the radius. We know the center, which is given 0, 0,6, which is good. I can say x minus 0, because x coordinates will be h, and then k will be your y coordinates. So that will be x minus 0 squared, and y minus 6, right, to the second power. But the problem is we do not know the radius. Like, ask yourself, if you were to, like, draw a circle, so which we don't really need to, but if I want to draw, okay, so I will get a center point, let's say this is 0, 6. You may even put this on the coordinate plane, which is okay. It says pass through a 0, 4, 81. Maybe I should do that to make it a bit accurate. So since our center is going through 0, 6, so this point has to be 6 is above the, the 0, 0. So maybe I can go ahead and draw. x is going to be 0, and y will be 6. So you could have something like this. Maybe the x axis will be somewhere right there, which we don't really know where these points exactly we will be touching but I do know this is zero six, okay? And the one point on the circle is four comma 81. So four is gonna be, you know, this is X equals zero. So four will be to the side and 81. So you may just think about this is four comma one or this is four comma one, maybe somewhere right there, but we do know somewhere right here, it should be lower than the center and to the right because zero is right there. But at least that will give us something. Since we have no idea about actual coordinates, so we cannot really go ahead and draw it. So I'm going to leave it as our just a circle, OK? And we don't really need this. It's just uh, for us to see visually. But we are told there is a point passed through uh, the circle, 4, 81. So let's assume the, the point 4, 1 is this. So 4 and 81. So the question is, how do we get the radius by, by using this information that we are given? So what we can do, we can connect the center to the point that is given, that should be on the circle. And when you connect those two, this is gonna be my radius, but how do I find that distance, right? And when I say distance, I hope we remember the distance formula. So the distance formula was the, the difference between the x coordinates to the second power, and then this was another application of the Pythagorean, and the difference of the y's as well. And then you square both of these difference, and then take the square root. So this was the distance formula. But now, if I want to find the the radius, which is our distance between this center and this point, I can use the distance formula. So that will give us like zero minus four or four minus zero, it, it doesn't matter what order you choose because you're gonna square that anyway. And then six minus 81. So you take the difference of the y's as well. 
And when you do this, you will get this is uh, 84 squared, which is 16. And 6 minus 91 will be 6 plus 1, which is 7. Square will be 49. And if you take the, the sum of these squares, so if you add these, you will get 65, right? So that should be 65 on the square. So this is the radius. Uh, if I want to complete my question, it says find an equation. So I need to square the radius, and the radius is root 65. And I do need to square this. And then some people are plugging calculate and just getting the number. We don't need it because we have the square of a square root. If you square a square root, so square and square will cancel. So you are going to just left it only 65 for this part. And then x minus 0 is just x. So that's going to be x squared. And then y minus 6 to the second power. And this is going to be the final answer. OK, so that wasn't too bad. And here's one thing I want you to think about it. If you want to expand this and simplify as much as possible and see what kind of equation you get, and this is another way of writing the equation on circle, but not for the this problem purposes, OK? So that is your exploration. So let's look at the, the second question. So second question is asking the equation of a circle that has a center 4 comma 6 and pass through 1 comma negative 2. So we can use the same logic as before, but I'm not going to draw the circle anymore since we know what's going on. So the equation was x minus h to the second power plus y minus k to the second power. This is equal to the radius squared. And I do know the center, which is like four and six. So I will say this is h and this is k. So the x minus four uh, square and then y minus six square. And we do need radius, but we don't know it, but we already know how to do that as well because we can use the distance between the center and a point on the circle by using distance formula. So I can say four minus one is a difference between the x's, so which will be squared, and then plus six minus negative two to the second power, and we take the square root. So this is three squared, which is nine, and then this is gonna be six plus two, which is eight, square will be 64. And if you add this, the radius will be square root of 73. But we are going to square that radius, so you will get just 73 when you square the square root of 73. So that was the same question as before, so I hope that makes, makes sense, and I'll see you in the next video.